Hi everyone, it's Mal from Sparkly Belly. For the last few weeks, I've been inspired to make jewelry out of wire, and in this video, you will see how I made these really easy snake arm cuffs. These are great accessories to wear with your dance costume or even with a t-shirt. Once you have all the materials, it literally only takes about 10 minutes and you can decorate it as you like. So let's get started. To make a snake arm cuff, you need 14 gauge wire, sandpaper, a wire cutter and round nose pliers. And for decorating, I'm going to be using rhinestones, E6000, craft tweezers, a toothpick for the first design and for the second design I'll be using 24 gauge wire and a round glass bead. So first take out some wire. As you pull out the wire, try to keep the round shape and form it into a circle that is approximately the size of your upper arm. You can try on to get an idea. Then pull out some more so there's enough wire to go around your arm four times and cut the wire. Then polish the ends with sandpaper so the ends are not sharp. Next, take your round nose pliers and gently curl one of the ends about just less than two centimeters or half an inch. This is going to be the head of the snake. I plan to place a glass bead here later, so if you're doing the same, make sure the head is big enough for the bead. Once you're happy with the shape of the snake head, use your finger to gently curve the wire upward from about 3 centimeters or just over an inch from the bottom of the head. Now at this point, try it on again and make sure the coil fits your upper arm well. You can make minor adjustments later, but if you need to alter the size a lot, do it here. It should be nice and snug, a little bit on the tight side so it doesn't fall off your arm, but it shouldn't pinch your skin. Then locate a point on the bottom wire that's directly below the head. Bend the wire from that part over to the left. From here, I like to gently curve the wire down, then up a bit and down to represent the tail end of a snake. But really, this is such a simple design and you can add as much or as little curves as you like. If you cut off any excess wire, sand the end of the wire again. So the base of the arm cuff is finished. You can wear it as it is, or if you're like me, you would want a bit more sparkles on this snake. So for the first design, I used E6000 to glue on rhinestones. To avoid putting too much glue, I put E6000 on a piece of scrap paper and used tweezers to put E6000 on the back of the rhinestones, then place them on the wire. And I went back in with the toothpick to add a bit more E6000 to seal the wire to the back of the rhinestones. For the second design, I cut 3 cm or just over 1 inch piece of 24 gauge wire, placed my round bead on the wire, and next I placed it right where I wanted the bead and rubbed the ends of the wire around the thick wire a few times tightly and neatly. Then I just cut the excess wire, making sure the ends are facing away from my skin, and just pressed the rubbed wire with the pliers. And that's it! These sparkly snakes will be lovely additions to your costumes. If you make it snug, the coil will keep the arm cuff in place. If you watched my last week's veil video, I wore one of these arm cuffs when I filmed it and it never fell off. Hope you like this DIY. If you make your own, please share on Sparkly Belly's Facebook page and sign up for the Sparkly Belly newsletter to get more DIY costuming ideas like this and free access to special patterns and resources only available to newsletter subscribers. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!